What's up YouTube? Are you applying to the University of Michigan but have no idea what you're going to say in the Why This College essay? Stay tuned for expert tips to apply like an admissions officer. Thank you for joining me on my channel. For the best college essay advice, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. So the Michigan supplement, Why This College, is about 550 words on the longer side of the, the kind of Why This College supplements. By the end of this video, I will show you what information should be in there and how to find the information a bit quicker. Hi, I'm Dr. Josie with Write Your Acceptance. With hundreds of students already in college or graduates by now, I know what they're looking for and I know how to help you stand out. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we are at the homepage for the University of Michigan. We are going to have two documents kind of in tandem. We're gonna have the website that we're gonna do most of our research on, and we're gonna have a document. I've opened a document here. I'll go over the notes that I have, but basically you're gonna put Why Michigan, and then you're gonna have these subheadings, homepage news, major, so your major and learning in the classroom for our purposes, because I work with a lot of students applying to um, Michigan's engineering program. We're gonna do mechanical engineering, research beyond the classroom, and then living and socializing at Michigan. So those are gonna be our notes. And so then we're gonna to go to the homepage and the homepage is like their sound bite, like their commercial, their own answer to the why Michigan question. And so um, you'll have different kind of a newsreel with different articles and research. So you can pick that. You'll have different facts that you can pick. So there are Pulitzer Prize winners, Guggenheim winners, MacArthur Fellows, Emmy winners, and then you'll have kind of in the news, right? And so um, because I'm doing mechanical engineering, I'm, I wanna find something in STEM. Um, you can do something with the Apollo 11, but I already did that for Penn for that video. If you haven't seen it, you can check that out. Um, so you can do something like decarbonizing travel in cities and the members, the memrister. Ooh, I can't say that. So let's say those two. We have info here according to a new University of Michigan led study. Perfect. So I'm going to copy paste this information onto our homepage news. So that's one topic that you can start your essay with. And then AI processing down from the cloud. So why does this, why is this of interest? And so in medical devices, the ability to run AI algorithms without the cloud would enable better security and privacy. So if you are interested in mechanical engineering and healthcare, or you've done something with your robotics club and, um, and service in, in hospitals, in high school, something that you can connect it with, you can say, this is interesting because of my experience here. So I'm gonna copy and paste that in homepage news. Now we're gonna go into the major and kind of learning in the classroom. So now we're gonna go into the mechanical engineering website and you have kind of different news there that you can kind of bring in as well. Um, this sounds pretty cool, self-driving safety. So this is specifically what the program is doing in their own classrooms and labs, right? So I'm going to put this in research and be on the classroom. That may be something that you'd want to participate in and you can use kind of the specific uh, names, right? Uh, then you'd want to pick, so then you're going to go to academics, undergraduate, um, and so then they have a couple of projects and research, and so I'm going to, I'm going to open those two, RISE and MAIS, and then I'm going to go to the courses. So your RISE program to work alongside world-renowned faculty and state-of-the-art facilities, they have a multidisciplinary design program. Okay, so this all sounds pretty cool. I'm gonna copy paste this to our notes. So it's a symposium to share their kind of RISE research. So that's pretty cool. So they go kind of in tandem. And so then let's go to the courses. So here you're gonna pick courses that are of interest. You can pick two of them, let's say, right? Um, I'm just picking random whichever, but an interesting part is that you can go to a sample syllabus. And all of the websites tend to be different depending on the school, but you can see who's the professor, um, kind of what they're working on. Ooh, you're gonna have a lot of homework. Okay, and you just copy paste. So this is gonna be back up in learning in the classroom.
and then for our purposes I picked a professor I just went into one of the random syllabi and I picked uh, assistant professor Jesse Austin Brenneman um, so you have here research interests I'm gonna copy that and then you have his project-based design so this is from their from his lab and what the students are doing right so this is of interest and all your they're not going to hold you to any of this major information but all you're doing basically is saying it would be a privilege to participate in initiatives like the ME project-based design with Professor Brenneman um, as it's of great interest junior year during my robotics club I initiated I studied blah 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 right so something some connection but mostly about them so I would copy paste this for later and so now we're going to life at Michigan so you have different kind of um, you know arts and culture music um, so let's see what arts and culture gives us so you can pick anything of interest right um, performances and events and you can just say while I'm not studying at name the library you can find me at and just kind of you know mention a couple of these and then any initiatives so anything you kind of want to be a part of so entrepreneurship and innovation maybe global Michigan maybe of interest heritage sustainability so you're not gonna go through all of them but just kind of quickly scan and the sustainability one is also something that's really um, relevant today so you have the information and and feel free to you know you watch any of these videos and you can quote if there's a student um, talking about this you can kind of say oh because I saw the UM sustainability planet blue YouTube video and learned how students are coming together to XYZ are you applying to other schools that are requiring the Y us supplement if you have any questions on the research process comment below I'd love to help ideally you would start with something from the homepage news, whether the autonomous fleet, um, right, that, that we first, the electric autonomous taxis that are of interest as a mechanical engineer or as a future engineer, you are interested in kind of solving real world problems like carbon emission, like global warming through kind of um, solution oriented engineering initiatives, right? And so you can mention this. Um, the, I can never say that, Memrister computer, right? That may be something else. If you have service in hospitals or um, community service in high school that related to um, anything with regards to, to medical or security, I don't know, that may be of interest. Then you go into um, learning and major in the classroom. So you would state mechanical engineering, right? Um, there was a course that I found that's engineering 100 and so we have um, you say you know first semester students in robotics compete in the class inverting the traditional students sit in desks approach you can mention uh, freshman Leah Russo and her experience as a Wolverine this is from a YouTube video and you can say something like I have great interest or it would be a privilege in learning from assistant professor of mechanical engineering Jesse Austin Brenneman professor Austin Brenneman or dr. Austin Brenneman going forward um, focuses on XYZ, right? So you would say two courses of interest are 336, uh, 336 Thermodynamics 2 and 350 Design, for instance, right? You have other language here that you can borrow always in your own words, but you can lift different phrases here and there and then you put them in quotes, especially mottos and like, you know, sound bite phrases that they want to be memorable. Then you would move into research and beyond the classroom. So you would say something like, not only is learning action-packed and hands-on, but outside of the classroom, the number one rank U of M's entrepreneurship program in the College of Engineering is teaching engineers how to launch their own business projects. So we saw this in one of the um, web pages. Then you can mention the, you know, the, multiple, the multidisciplinary design program is of interest and in how enriching it would be to learn and work alongside peers of different majors. Further, the opportunity to work and learn from Bosch robust plan path planning for automated vehicles da, 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 da. and then you would do a quick connection to your robotics club so let's say you didn't start with this specific from the essay right you have other information that you can bring in um, and you can say two initiatives that I would love to be a part of are rise and Mayus and then you can kind of talk about what they do what their learning outcomes are for their students 
then you go into something social. So as an avid musical uh, music festival fan or um, as a street fair lover back home, I would love to, when I'm not studying, um, go to the museum around town or a gifts of art. Da, da, da. Right? Definitely organize all of your information on a document and then start kind of picking and choosing what you're going to put, but very specific terminology from their website. So they know that this Y Michigan essay cannot be swapped with an NYU or UCF. Feel free to sprinkle in some kind of catchphrases and lingo of the university, like Go Blue. A couple of years ago, they started kind of directly translating that into Spanish, Vamos Azul. So if you're a bilingual student, you can definitely end with that. They also say hail to the victors and you can use their school mission. Also, you can say that um, when you get to the, to the Michigan Union, you'd want to kind of spin the cube. It's like this kind of sculpture cube shaped sculpture. It's huge, but it's surprisingly lightweight. And there's a legend that um, school presidents since I don't know when have basically started their academic years and first days of, of school by spinning the cube. So you can kind of emulate that tradition as well. Make sure you research your school beyond brand power. Like I've segmented in this video, there are components you want to hit in this Why This College essay, whether it's for Michigan or another institution. Also, don't forget your main essay. I have a free college essay guide download in the description below. You want to grab that. I show you how to kind of organize information where, depending on the essay type, and information on diversity, information on how to write an anecdote, and please, if you like this video, click like, hit subscribe, and share with your college-bound friends. Good luck. I'll see you soon.